Today, our Lord, Jesus, talks about rich soil. And we can say that rich soil is like the silent heart. When our hearts are silent, we receive the word of Jesus and it flourishes, it comes alive. But it must be received in the silent heart, the heart that remains silent. And silence is not an inaction. It's not a complete passivity. Silence is actually an active receptivity of divine presence. It's the rich soil in which divine love is received and brought into action. Action in the sense of a glow of divine love in us, like the glow of honey on a spoon. The silent heart departs from distracting disorder and from disturbing images found in our imaginative faculty. Even if there is no speech, we can still do violence to the silent heart by yielding to a disordered and distracting train of imaginings or thoughts that are not of the Lord. Silence is the inward closing shop of the soul's powers toward the external world and fixing them by an inward direction completely on God before the flame of divine love. Hence the need of silent prayer, which is the calming of the senses. Silent prayer is the exhaling all the many impulses that takes us from the calm of love. Finally, it is also possible to speak throughout the day while maintaining an unbroken silence. So we can be very active in our day. In a sense, we communicate with a lot of people and we can still maintain silence. But how do we do this? Well, there's a golden rule for this. Never speak merely for one's own sake or for one's own gratification or to satisfy some impulse, but solely for the glory of God, for the right accomplishment of our state of life, for the promotion of truth, for the exercise of charity, for the comfort of the sorrowful and the purpose of brightening the life of others. And so let us, in this Eucharist, let us ask the mother of the word, mother of the silent heart, to pray for us to have this grace of silence. It's really being recollected. Have everything recollected upon Christ. And it's good to examine our kind of thoughts and our kind of, are we, are we kind of anguished or do we have real interior peace? And if we don't have interior peace, what, what is it that's causing this anguish? and to invite Christ into it and give our lives to Christ to have him be the center. Let's ask for this grace of silence so that we can rest in the arms of our mother.